Okay, you guys, so in our discrete random variables, let's go ahead and talk about the scenario where we have a uniform distribution. So a uniform distribution is like rolling a dice where each of the sides of the dice are equally likely to occur. So if we were to build our support, our x, we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the probability of success, or the probability of rolling any given number, or we can say that the discrete random variable is equal to a member of the support. X is the discrete random variable. That's us rolling the dice. X is a particular member of the support. And for a uniform distribution, so let me write this down here. For uniform, probability of the discrete random variable equaling any specific member, all of them are going to be the same thing, 1 divided by n where n is the total number of outcomes that we've got. So we've got a total of 6 here. So this is going to just equal 1 divided by 6. And I'm going to just drag that down because it's the same uh, for them all. And I'm going to limit how many decimals we'll see. I'll take it out to 4. Okay, so that's how we find the, uh, the PMF for a uniform distribution. And then we can also do our CDF, which is the probability that the discrete random variable is going to be less than or equal to the member of the support. So that's the first one is just going to be equal to the probability of 1 because there's nothing less than the probability of 1. And we say equals the probability of 2 plus 1 or less. And then we can add those all up. And if we've done it right, our CDF will equal 1. Great. Now, if we want to know the expected value, we can continue on, do our x multiplied, member of the sport multiplied by its associated probability. So let me do that real quick. 1 times that probability, hit enter, and drag it down. And then our expected value of x is just going to be equal to the sum of this entire column that we just solved and it's three and a half. So if we were to roll this dice over and over again, on average, we would get three and a half. Okay, so now let's just continue on our way. So this expected value of x is also equal to our mu, and I'm just going to shorthand that. I know it's not technically the right character, but u is close enough. And this is going to be particular member of the support minus mu. We're gonna square that and then multiply by its associated probability. Okay, so let's do it. So we've got equals, we've got member of the sport minus expected value or mu, and remember we're going to need to lock that reference. We need to square it, and we then need to multiply by its associated probability. All right, once we have that, don't forget to lock the mu and we can drag that down, and then we can say that the variance of x is just going to be equal to the sum of this column that we did. Now, if we're in a uniform distribution, we can also say that the expected value of x, now this only works if your numbers are sequential, um, but it is useful. We can say that that is equal to b plus a, or little b, sorry, little b plus a divided by 2, where b is the max and a is the minimum. And so if we do that, let's just see what it is. I'll do it up here to show us. Let me highlight these. These are kind of our calculation. Over here, this will be my shortcut calculation. So this will be equal to b maximum plus a minimum, and then divide by 2 and we've got 3.5, so it's a nice little shortcut. And then the variance, I don't know if it's a nice shortcut, but it is a little bit less work. It's one, one equation instead of building the whole column. But this one is going to equal to, okay, so this is b minus a plus one squared minus one divided by 12. Now you might ask, where does this come from? Well, we could go through all of those steps to derive it, 
I'm not going to. But this, once again, this only works if we have a sequential set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We couldn't go like one, two, three, four, five, then to eight. The shortcut formulas don't work for it. We could still solve that by using our, our normal methods, but the shortcut methods only work if they are sequential. All right, so let's give it a shot. We'll say equals two parentheses, B minus A plus one, and then we're going to square that, and then we're going to minus one, and then we're going to divide by 12. And if we hit enter, it gives us our variance. So we've got two shortcut ways. Remember uh, these equations only work if the uniform, uniform support is sequential. where we go from like one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. We can't have any gaps in it. If you do have gaps, it's still a uniform distribution, but you have to go back to the original method to solve out your expected value and your variance. Anyhow, hope that helps out. Good luck.